guys, so I wanted to film a Halloween tutorial. This is a Day of the Dead um, black and white tutorial with a little bit of gray and peaches. But um, this is very wearable and a really easy look that I just pretty much use makeup items that everybody has and some white face paint. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Sorry about the lighting. Um, I couldn't get the lighting right at all and I... Um, we'll work on that, which really sucks, but I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and have an amazing Halloween and have fun recreating this look. And it's just really fun and easy with a serious skull contour, but, um, this is wearable and I hope you guys like this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye. Hey guys, I'm going to start by priming my face with this primer, this tea tree primer from The Body Shop, and I'm just going to apply that all over my face. I'm going to mix some white um, face paint with some Cover FX foundation, just because I don't want to go straight in with the white face paint, just to make it look a little bit more natural um, and less ghost-like. I, I wasn't going for a ghostly look, um, more of a dead look, so I'm mixing the foundation with the paint together. The sponge that I'm using, I had a little bit of difficulty with it. It was picking up the product um, instead of just keeping it stuck to my face. So if you're going to use a sponge, I wouldn't recommend using this cheap old sponge that I just got from Walmart. I would recommend using something a little bit better. I went in with a translucent powder. This one is by Urban Decay. And I set the um, face paint just so that everything would stay and it wouldn't move around as I was doing my detailed and design. Then using any black eyeliner, I'm using this dual ended one by Color Prevails because it's um, really creamy and blendable. Um, draw an outline around your eye. Just follow the shape of your eye to create the hollow. Um, I find that going from your brows um, all the way you kind of just see the indent of your of the shape of your eye socket and just follow that and outline it. I then just took any um, makeup brush and used it to soften the line a little bit. Using any black eyeshadow, I'm using this one by ColourPop um, in the shade um, Roulette. Um, I really like this one because it's really blendable and really pigmented. Um, I'm just applying that to the outer portion of the outline I did, as you can see in the picture. Um, I'm not really applying it too neatly. I'm covering up my brows and not filling in the entire eye. You want to leave the um, eyelid empty and blank as well as the lower um portion of your eye, so just outline it with the black eyeshadow. Then I'm going to take um, the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, um, eye palette, and I'm going to mix the two gray shades in here, the shades Lazarus and Liberatus. Um, and I'm just going to apply that um, to blend out the black to soften it out. So I'm just going to apply that, as you can see, um, right below wherever I applied the black just to blend it out and soften the lines and to make it a little bit more of a gradient. And as I'm using the gray to blend out the black a little bit, I'm still avoiding the um, eye as much as possible, um, the lid and the lower lash line, just because I'm going to go in with um, a different shade. I then took the peach shade latest from the palette. You can just use any peachy toned eyeshadow. I just really liked this one because it blends well with my skin tone. But I'm using that to blend out the gray a little bit as well as apply this all over the rest of my eye. So the lid, the inner corner, the outer corner, and under my eye. And I'm applying this very generously and just all over blending out the gray and black 
to make it even more softer to add more depth and dimension. Just take your time and keep blending so that everything eventually starts to look smoked out. Um, then just go back and do the same thing um, to the other eye. I went back in with the ColourPop um, black eyeshadow. You don't have to use the same eyeshadows I'm using, just um, basically all you need is black shadows, um, a really good black shadow, um, gray tone shadows, and a peachy tone shadow. I'm speeding through this eye just because of the same exact steps that I did to the other eye. So just repeat them and you should have similar ghostly, haunted, hollow looking eyes. Then I'm going to take a black um, eyeliner. I'm using this Marc Jacobs gel liner just because I had it laying around. And I'm going to line my lash line and upper and lower lash line pretty heavily. For the fun part, the details. So I'm going to go back in with that black um, liner and I'm just going to apply some dots to my forehead just for a little bit of an effect. And then I'm going to outline above my brow line um, basically just a brow like shape, just a single pencil drawn brow. Um, I messed up a little bit but it's okay I'll fix that. Um, and then I'm just going to add these little swirly things to the top of it just to add a little bit of a design effect. Clean up my mess, I'm just going to take white pencil, this one's Milk by NYX, and I'm just going to apply that underneath my mistake and then blend it out with a sponge. I then went in with a liquid liner, this one's by e.l.f., just to um, deepen up the color and re-outline the design. Um, and then I wanted this florally um, design to my eyes, so I'm just taking the black um, eyeliner and outlining in a little bit of a lacy design around the hollows that we created earlier and I'm just going gently around the entire um, eye socket that we created. I did this detail to both eyes. Um, when you're applying this design around your nose, it does get a little tight, so just be a little soft with your hand. And then I just took um, that um, latest um, peachy shade and just softened the lace um, detail that we just did a little bit. Then to add a little bit more depth to my eyes, I took this NYX Metallic Silver Shadow. I don't remember the name, but I will link everything down below. And I applied this pretty generously to the inner corners of my eyes. Going back in with that black eyeliner we're going to draw out the hollow of the nose. So I'm just creating this U shape on the top of my nose and then taking the outline as you can see and then drawing a little triangle down at the bottom uh, uh, right above my cupid's bow of my lip so right underneath the bottom of your nose. Um, it's kind of hard to explain so just watch what I'm doing. And then once I'm done outlining everything, I went ahead and filled in the shape that we created. And then to set the um, pencil, I went in with that black shadow just so that it doesn't smudge. This is just to prevent the design from smearing all over your face and ruining everything else that you did. I wanted really intense cheekbones, so I took a black shadow and carved it out. I followed the line of my cheekbones and drew a line all the way to the bottom of my jawline. I'm going back in with that black liner. I used it to sharpen the line and then fill it in, fill in the con contour a little bit. And then I just took a smudging brush and blended that um, eyeliner out. And by doing this, you'll get more of a gradient of a gray effect. That way, um, it's easier and to blunt out when you go in with shadow later. And doing that to both sides. Take your time smudging this out, keeping the blackest color at the top of the line that you drew and graying it out towards the bottom of your jawline. I then went in with the gray shadows 
and started to blend it out even more. This will take some patience, just keep working at it and you'll end up having a smoky gray look um, at, the, at the lines you created. And then to add a little bit more depth, I went in with a really light bronzer. Um, this one's by e.l.f. It's just a Pocahontas one and used that to add a little bit more of a browning gray effect to my cheekbones. With the black liner, I extended the outline of my lips and then I went in and drew um, vertical lines just to look like stitches across my lips. When you're going um, to draw them on your physical lips, um, just you might have to open your mouth a little bit just so that it's easier to fill them in and to make the lines more even, to make it look more like stitches. I then went in and lined the top of my lip with a black liquid liner um, and I wanted my lips to be a little bit more defined so I made them more pointy at the cupid's bow. I went in with that same brush that I was using to apply the black shadow with no additional product and I went ahead and used that to smudge um, the top lip a little bit. Um, and add a little bit more shading to the top and then I also used it um, to shade and add a little bit more um, fullness to my bottom lip so I shave, shaded the bottom of my lip. I went back in with the liquid liner and used it to re-outline the stitches that I drew earlier with the um, pencil just to darken it up a little bit. For the final last few details of my face, I wanted to draw a spider web at the bottom of my chin. It was just feeling a little bit empty, so I just outlined um, five different, and there my liner broke. <laughs> um, I went and outlined, sorry, the mirror is covering the camera, but I went and outlined five lines and then I connected them by drawing a little wavy um, used to connect them to make it look like a spider web and then added some dots to the top of each line. Sorry that my mirror is in the way of the camera lens, which is kind of annoying. Um, I took the black liner and drew a little swirly line at the top of the contour line that we drew earlier, and then I'm just um, adding some detail dots down at the bottom, and then I went ahead and darkened everything up like I normally do with that liquid liner just to make the lines look a little bit darker and um, a little bit glossy. And just curl your hair and put on a floral crown. I used a black one that I created from Flowers from Michaels. And that completes this Day of the De Dead inspired makeup tutorial. I hope you have fun recreating your own version of this for Halloween. And I hope you guys have an amazing Halloween. Bye!